hi so let's get started in this video we will be learning about time intelligence functions and some of the most important time intelligence functions like total ytd total qtd and total mtd so first of all what really time intelligence is so in this microsoft uh, article as you can see uh, time intelligence function supports the need of business intelligence analysis and enables us to manipulate data using time periods days months quarters etc so it helps us in uh, in analyzing our data with with any historical data like last year data or two years data uh, or two years back of data so that we can analyze our current data with the historic one take the decisions based on those so time intelligence functions are really very very helpful when it comes to uh, the need of our business so let's just learn what really is these time intelligence functions so today we will be first learning about total ytd so these three functions total ytd total qtd and total mtd are almost the same uh, let's look at them one by one so in my table i will take the order date and my sales so i have the sales data consisting of data from year 2010 to 2017 so i have this sales so now first we we'll look into total ytd what total ytd really does is it evaluates a year to date expression as per our context so first of all we need to create a measure so we will right click on our table and click on new measure now <clears throat> i will uh, name it like total ytd and this is how it goes all you have to type is total and you can see these three functions there total mtd qtd and ytd i will take first total ytd now when you will click enter you can see it's in the tool tip what we have to write first so first we need to write the expression so in expression it will we want to write our uh, we want to take our sales data so we will take the sum of all the sales data so i will type sum and then i will type my sales data column so uh, i'll search for it and here it is now after expression i need to put the date here so here is my order date and i will close the bracket and this is all our total ytd so first of all quickly i will be creating these three measure and then i will be explaining them one by one that would be pretty easy for you so now i have created total ytd it's the same thing goes uh, with creating total qtd and total mtd as well so i will just copy this and right click on it and click on new measure second measure will be total qtd everything will be same except all i have to do is type the total qtd function and rest all will be the same there you go just one more measure and this will be named as total mtd there you go I okay so now I've created all these three measure I'll simply add them in my table ytd qtd and mtd so let's see how they really work so as you can see this is our original sales data in year 2010 January I have 24,772 dollars of sale then in Feb then March so now first take a look at total ytd so total ytd will give us total year to date value so in january i have 24772 in february it will be giving us 108235 so what it really does is it will add january plus february and it will give year to the date of total sales so it will add both the months of sales and give us the total then in march it will add this total along with the march and give us the a total year to date up to march so on it will give us total up to the date of values this will go on for year as soon as the new year come like january 2011 it will again start from the very beginning so in january there were 35000 of sales in february there were 58000 which will which we, which is because it will add 22000 february of february and 35000 of january and it will give us total year to date values so this is how total year to date work so if now you have understood the concept of total ytd 
it would be easy for you to understand total quarter to date so this was for year now this will be for total quarter to date so the quarter will consist of 24 then 10 then 137 so this is total one quarter for the next quarter it will again reset and from april it will show the value of 44000 of april then it will show the combined value of april and may and then in june it will combine value of april may and june so this is how total qtd work and the rest the remaining is total um, mtd so it was it was it is just showing total month to date to date values as you can see here each and every month's value so these are the some of the most commonly used and really important uh, time intelligence function we will take a look at one of the very interesting time intelligence function in our next video but uh, before moving ahead for the next video i just want to show something important suppose in your data you have to do a lot of calculations by creating uh, calculated measures so uh, one of the best practice here is just to not mess with your data up here in the table it is good to create a new uh, table which just consists of measures so what i'll do is i will create a new table here and uh, let's say i'll have to just enter data i'll create a new table here i will name it uh, let's say measures all right there you go now what i will do here is all the three measures which i have just now created i will uh, move them to the our measures table so uh, to do that all you have to do is uh, here in the total mtd these are the our three measures uh, you can see here the top panel here home view modeling you have to go to the modeling uh, pan and here you can see it is asking us the home table so right now the home table of our total mtd is sales data which is our this table what we want is we just want to move it to the measures table so i will put it in the measures table now here it is this particular uh, column is in the measures table one of the good things about measure is we can move them from any one table to another table and they can they will still work the very same if uh, if they are in if they are related so i will just simply move them to our the newly created table i'll uh, delete this blank column one there you go so i have created total mtd i same i will also move total qtd and total ytd so this is one of the good practices which uh, you must follow when you are uh, really uh, having lots and lots of calculated measures data so it's uh, pretty easy to ma maintain all of your measures so that you can use them anytime so now we have this one particular table only for measures in the coming videos whatever measures which we will be creating we will be adding them in this measures table only so it will be easy for us to uh, keep a record of it so that's it for now we will continue in the next lecture thank you